fair you and then grab the ledge again. She can like fade, you know what I'm That's saying? True, Similar yeah. to Jigglypuff. So I don't know, you know. Two L's. Yeah, no kidding. No, there's definitely that I was gonna say. Alright, well this is about to be tight. Alright, Kalindi versus Jungle Guy. Uh button warmers? Oh no, they're no, just going yeah, yeah, yeah. So lots of good foxes say this is the hidden worst stage for Falcon, because the chain grabs and the up throw nair. Yeah, chains. when I was gonna ask you, when do what percents does the chain throw work at? Chain throw works around like 20, 30. Well, it depends. If they do full DI, it starts working around 20, 30. And that's straight to the sides yeah. or straight and down? Straight straight to the sides. Okay. Like, and you, around 20, 30, you can chain grab them no matter what until probably 50 ish, in which you have to go to up till right. Nair. But that tree in itself, like that Leffen style yeah. final destination move. Yeah. It's really good against Falcon. I yeah. think the stage is not good for Falcon at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't think so either, yeah. But basically, the way you have to play it is do that, like where you catch him coming in and just. I'm very surprised that Toad Guy went here. You got to think about that. Well, no, it's quite possible, and I this is usually my theory is it's possible that uh, KJH got to strike first, yeah. or he struck first, and it was between Battlefield and FD, and he probably wants to go to yeah. FD. Uh, I think Battlefield. Or would you? Would you might, go to Battlefield? I think Battlefield case? might be the best stage for Falcon this matchup. It is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah. He loses on Fountain Dreams. He loses on... You probably think he loses on Yoshi's. He, he loses on Yoshi's. He can't run. Good point. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. That's that's just my opinion. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, then, uh, it's one of the best things about FD, Falcon. Yeah, he's yeah. got the chain grabs. Dreamland right, is right. Dreamland is arguable, but I believe if Fox can camp right... Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think that FD is definitely Why would he bet. roll? I guess I... Dare? I don't know why he rolled out there. That's weird. He scared Kalindi out of his angle. Rob's looking for that easy dash dance grab. There it is. There you go, baby. Oh, he just missed it. But Rob went for the old school read. Gotta do that whizzy stuff. Yeah. No, I've been seeing Rob all day. He'll uh, he'll like down throw or up throw a uh, fox or space near the edge, and then turn around, go for that backer to cover tech in place, and then if he techs forward, that he can true. just that is he can just re grab, which is kind of whizzy. S J started doing that a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah. It's a tight timing though. It's kind of similar to yeah. Marth's down tilt down. Uh, down throw, down tilt, turn around, yeah, yeah. grab. I see what you mean. It's, yeah, it's basically the same setup. See, this is what I'm saying. Nice. Once you get the once you get the knockdown from Fox, you should be able to just tech chase on FD because there's no one for him to go. Falcon Always or Fox? Falcon? Falcon. Yeah. Falcon when he techs, his tech roll is so slow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, wow. He got he, he had juggle that corner and he let him double jump right over him. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's see how Rob finishes this out. He's got to just, like, he's just. Kalindi's a tough, tough man to beat, I'll he's tell you He's a tough nut to crack. He's so consistent, so technical. Nice knee, the runway knee. Rarely misses wave lands and L camps, never, almost. Yeah, yeah. Perfect uh, double shines, it's easy. It's easy for him. Ah, uh, he just goes for the double yeah, roll again. for the rolls. <laughs> Let's see if he can get out of this corner. Oh, yeah. smash. He just got <laughs> it all comes down to that corner pressure. You know, Kalindi corners people with, with multi shines. Yeah. And you can't even nice. buffer roll out if he multi shines you right. Oh, because you you don't have you don't suffer anything that isn't a lag room. Yeah, because if you try to buffer roll out and Kalindi perfect frame shines you, you can't. So it and doesn't he even can happen. do it too. But doesn't buffer mean like? It, it comes out on the first actionable frame. Right. So when you're multi shining and you buffer roll, the roll will come out as soon as he's done with his first shine. But the roll has not—it doesn't have invincibility at the first startup. So, so the shine hit. will hit you before you that's are in invincibility. I get it. So get that's you. why nice. Kalindi can actually frame perfect multi shine. He actually can do it. Wow. He's insane. So you can't even buffer roll out of it. And if you do buffer roll, then you just get hit by shine. Yeah. And if you wait there and. It, Theoretically, if he could multi shine the whole time, which he can't, but right. if he can multi shine the whole time, the only option is to get shield stabbed. Good point. Or get yeah. shield, or get the. That's why. Nice angle. In theory, Fox is so good, but. Yeah. I see what you mean, though. That's yeah. That's like. High. practices his. Nice. I see that was. The, that's what he needs to get. That was just that a trick, read. though. That was just a trick. He didn't even have to come in there, you know? He could just wall him with back air at center stage. So like, That's true. You know? Clint used to have a problem where he would multi-shine duck in the middle of the stage for no reason. Uh -huh. And he had to kind of get past this mental barrier that if you multi-shine in the middle of the stage, what does that gain you when you get the shine? You mean when you, you actually just, hit them? Yeah, you just push them away in the right. middle of the stage, like 3%. Right. But when you're on the edge, that's where it's good. 
because you push them to the side, you push them off. Right. And you keep forcing them to tech or get pushed off. Like when he, when I play him in Fox Sittos, you'll see him do this corner pressure where you can't move. Yeah. And it, that's a big concept for new players. Like corner pressure. corner pressure is insane. Yeah. That's basically what like an edge guard is once you once they grab ledge. You're yeah. basically like. Nice. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he just ate it. All right, all right. If you just take the hit. I guess I, I guess I'm done with that. Same he, was, he was done with that stock. He didn't want it anymore. Oh, nice shorten. Oh, bow backs it. Kalindi does one amazing technical thing into another amazing technical ah. thing. That's really broken too. Don't you think that's really good? Where you could like tech in place near the edge, but then your momentum carries you off, so you grab. Yeah, that actually is really good. That's really good. Kalindi does that on purpose a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just did just a second ago, otherwise. And it, nice. you couldn't quite get you it. You can see Rob wants to go out there and finish nice. it. Nice! Side but B. See, do you good realize? Nice stuff. Do you see how that time, you know how last set when he went, was playing against Beach, went for random dares to try to, like, platform tech chase? Yeah. But now he started going for up airs on yeah. Pokemon platforms. Covers Cover the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Less reading. Yeah. It's more consistent. Just like how we were saying earlier how, you know, perfect tech chasing is always going to be better than reads. Yeah. Oh, but reads are just necessary. They are, yeah, I agree. Damn. Randall getting yeah. involved. Kalindi on the stage is insane. He can, he can ledge dash Nair into the center of the stage and you can't even touch him. But he started doing this thing where he likes doing the ledge dash up tilt. Oh, because he's invincible the whole time, you're saying. Because you're, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. Um, the ledge dash up tilt is so invincible that he's invincible the entire time the up tilt's going on. And he can't even get hit. Wow. And it ends right as the invincibility ends, so you can do a move right after. Good attempt at coverage for Rob. Nice. More up airs. Nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. He he got up attack. He didn't. He did get up attack from the yeah. ledge. Yeah. So he could cover if he went uh, slightly higher. The get up attack would hit him off, and it, the get up attack also covers the ledge option. You see, Marth's do that because of uh, Mute King. Mute King does that get up. He does the sword get up every time because it can push them off. Yeah. Hit them. That works with Falcon too, right? Yeah, it does, but Seems I wouldn't say it's as good. But yeah, probably not. Yeah. You'll notice the one characteristic of really good Falcons is when they get a down throw and they realize they can't get the reaction tech chase, they'll just start dash dancing. They're waiting for a move. So wait for that him. spot dodge, wait for that roll, yeah, get yeah. that hard punish. Ah, uh, that the uh, I feel like Falcon can't do anything in the corner. You can't nail that it. Just the, hit, the corner right? pressure from Kalindi is literally insane. You just can't find a way out. You have to wait until he lets you out. That's another reason why I hate uh, FD as well, actually. Yeah. Like the corner pressure, no yeah. platform. You just corner really but at the same time, even if there is platforms, it's kind of yeah. Ooh, nice. That's nice. You see that style? Yeah. Alright, come on. Uh, I knew it. Ooh, yeah. It's done. Oh, he got saved by Randall, too. He should have been done. See, he caught that roll right away on reaction. Wave dash forward, at up tilt. See that up tilt? Right up yeah. the ledge? That's well, that was fast as... Well, that's so insane. That you, people don't even realize how fast that is to do. Got caught with the spot dodge. Never spot dodge against Falcon. It's just one read, but he's in such a, such high percentage. Falcons always do that uh, short hop where they're just waiting for you to spot dodge. And if you, at worst, you just shield and knee is plus on shield. Knee is plus one, fr knee is plus one frame on shield so you can jab right away and not get grabbed. Alright, where do you think we're going? Dreamland? Pokemon? Jungle Guy Stadium? I mean, I don't know. It's like, as you can see, there's not really many good stages, so... He's just gonna try and make some strategy. He just, he just, he must know too good. I I really do think this is Falcon's best stage. Less because it's the only like, the only truly like. Yeah. Well, I mean Fox Fox still that's wins the matchup. That's actually really interesting what you said about being able to cover um, center stage with that near that invincible there. Yeah. I never thought of just how much like just a, it's not even that much smaller than the stage, but just that small amount makes it significantly more usable. Yeah. Like that. Like, yeah. Have center stage exactly, and you're invincible. Like, I mean, 
when he invincible ledge dashes like that, he is actually just taking space. Yeah. And you can't do anything about yeah, it. Yeah. It's completely invincible. That's like a big thing. It's not just the fact it's the fact that he got off the ledge with no penalty. Yeah. Which normally the ledge is really bad for folks. Yeah, like wow. like when Falcon's on the ledge, he's gotta trick him up, he's yeah. gotta do some hack stashes, maybe yeah, 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 yeah. maybe pick a different option. Fox, ledge dash. <laughs> I think that's I think the reason that's so broken is that Fox can reset the ledge. Well I guess Falcon can do that too, which is Hard. You have an invincible ledge dash, but it's, or not an invincible It's not as good. It's not as good, and also your invincible ledge stall is also not as good. It's as not as good. good. See, the thing is, Fox has the most actionable frames out of his out wave of dash. His, really. So if he wave dashes on the stage, he can do the most stuff, and he's Fox. So like his aerials are fast. Falcon's aerials are not as fast yeah, as Fox's. So. Oh, he's got that reaction. I'm gonna interview both these guys. I just want to interview Rob. That's all. Uh, that's cool. Well, I'm gonna have Killindy on first. Well, that's fine. I don't care. Assuming he wins. What'd you say? Huh? Assuming Killindy wins, I'm gonna have him. On first. I can I can interview him, but what do you want me to ask him? I don't, I don't know. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't know what to ask. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a few questions I could probably ask Rob. But like, all right. You can interview Killindy. You can do it. You oh, can do really? it both. You okay, can do it. I believe yeah. in you. Yeah, I'm down. And this, this is okay. We're gonna have first place on first. I guess I, I kind of said three. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I, just, uh, I said we're going to have Kalindi on first because I kind of assumed he was winning. Oh, but he I is down. He, he did lose a game, so. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. What game did Juggle Guy win on? Four points. Oh, okay. Uh, he went for ledge. In that case, it's so shitty because, like, if he, if he had rolled on the stage there, because he didn't have enough time to reset his invincibility, if he had rolled on the stage there, he would have got hit by the LB. True, true. But if. But uh, but you know the roll on stage would cover him ground flash. Nice read right there. Wow. That's a really weird percent where he would have been able to like counterattack him before he could grab him, so he just went up for he went straight up for you know, either. Nice. Lots of lots of things that people don't know about oh nice that dash, dash attack. attack. That's so good. It, it stalls. Yeah. It stalls right next to the ledge and puts a hitbox out so that it just covers up that ledge. Alright, let's go Rob. Let's go Rob, let's go Rob. Let's stop. Let's see if we can bring it to game five. Rob's got this thing. Remember, he's still got to go for the reset. That's, no, I know, I know what I'm saying. If Rob gets the reset, it's done. Uh, that was a really good stomp, but he completely avoided it. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> Kalindi might just pull out the fox, though. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> he's going to pull out that multi-shine, though. Ah, interesting. Oh, waiting for the... Nice little pop, but he... He's dead. Can he get he that edge guard? He waited for it. Oh. He waited for it, and that was so... So good. You see how uh, What's up, man? What's up? when Fox starts to up B, his flames don't have an immediate hitbox. So that's why he didn't get Oh good. That's why he didn't get hit by the flames and he got stomped. From what? Hey, wait, when was the last time Jungle Guy won a tournament? Did you, did you go like to the Optimus or something? He's never won a Michigan tournament. Like with PR players at it. That'd be interesting. That would be That'd interesting. Be Beach. Isn't it true that Rob hasn't won a Michigan tournament with a bunch of PR players in like a long time? Or ever. He plays Falcon, dude. Give him a great. He's in grand finals right now. This is bound to dreams. Yeah. Yeah. How many viewers do you have? What? How many viewers do you have? You still came? I no, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. You were playing well against yeah, Rob at yeah. the beginning. The first two games, yeah. you actually played well. Ooh, wow. Did you see that tech, tech shine turn around up B? Nice, nice tech. Nice grab. Wow. Did you see, did you see Clindy's tech? Clindy got hit by the Falcon's up B. He teched the side of the stage, shine turn around up B, tether the ledge, then shine back here. He expected to get hit by it. Yeah, Kalindi practices harder than anyone I've ever seen. What the hell? Were you in the money beach? Aww. I was almost there. I was almost there. No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on, juggle. 
I think I think I'm getting better, but like I just the classic mid-level inconsistently. Like I, I'm a mid-level fox. Like that's as inconsistent as it gets. Nice knee. That drop zone. All right. If, you guys forgot there was a match going on. All right. If Rob could make a two-stock comeback on Fountain of Dreams okay. against Kalindi, that would definitely be impressive. But nope, that's it. That's the tournament. God. Kalindi takes SB. 